Hello there guys and welcome to another Forza Horizon 5 video on my channel. I know we've had a two week break on the channel but I am back for the winter slash dry season of series 15 Horizon Holidays and in this video I will be working through all of the challenges in the Winter Festival playlist so that you can complete all of the individual challenges, get the rewards and of course work towards the season and series rewards. There are a total of 60 points available up for grabs in this season. We also have some very cool rewards up for grabs which we'll talk about in just a second and of course a whole bunch of challenges for to complete which is all of these challenges here. Speaking of a two week break I would like to quickly apologise for not uh, uploading a video for the autumn slash storm season. I was a bit ill last week with a cold, uh, I had a bit of, bit of a rough cough and uh, I don't think any of you would have appreciated uh, hearing me with that rough cough uh, and I didn't want to test my throat too much. Um, so I took a break last week, just managed to get the 40 points and just had a bit of a chill out and uh, I'm back this week for the winter slash dry season and of course I'll be back next week as well for the spring slash hot season uh, so there will be no breaks this week for Christmas um, because obviously Christmas is on Sunday uh, and this is today is Thursday the 22nd so there's no need for me to take a break for Christmas let's have a little look at this week's seasonal rewards then so first of all for 20 points we have the Cadillac ST XTS limousine from 2013 a brand new to Horizon 5 car but obviously it was in Horizon 4 one of the fan favorites and I'm definitely very excited to unlock this and give it a, a drive around in free roam and possibly also take it in some races very very cool car and also a really cool car to paint and for 40 points we have the Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR that is a hard to find legendary car I suggest there. If you don't remember, this was added a few months ago and became the most expensive auto show car ever in a Horizon game at 143 million credits. It is still available in the auto show for that, however you'll also be able to unlock it here. So this is the third opportunity of unlocking it from last time in the festival playlist um, from the auto show and now back for the Winter Stars Dry Season of Series 15 Horizon Holidays. And finally, before we tuck into this week's se seasonal challenges, we have the series rewards. So for 80 points, which I unlocked just uh, today, we have the number 22 Extreme E. That is the, uh, I don't know what company that is, but the, they're all the same, just with a different paint job. And then for 160 points, we have the Ferrari California T. That is a convertible, so you can put the roof down using the convertible feature. Very, very cool car to drive around in free roam and also reasonably competitive online. And finally, do keep sending them gifts because as you can see we are over 75% towards unlocking the brand new to Forza car, the Lamborghini Cyan, 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 however you pronounce it. Um, so do keep gifting away. I sent two gifts today um, and uh, coincidentally one of them is actually now in the Forza shop, the Aston Martin DB5. However, um, let's keep gifting and hopefully we'll be able to get this Lamborghini before Christmas Day. That would be really, really cool and a really nice Christmas present for all the Forza community. Let's start this today's Winter Season Festival playlist video off with the Forzathon challenges. As usual, there's a Forzathon weekly challenges, Forzathon daily challenges and a lovely Horizon Forzathon shop to take a look at. First of all in this section we have the weekly Forced On Challenge, you have seen this one before and if you completed last week's festival playlist we've also seen that Forced On before as well so we're now getting to the stage a year into the game or just over a year where the developers are already having to recycle content because they cannot be asked um, coming up with new content um, so we are at that stage now. So this Forced On is called Mexican Supercar and involves the 2017 Vul 05 RR, obviously that's a Mexican Supercar. Uh, this will get you 5 points towards the festival playlist and 80 or 160 force on points depending on whether you have the La Casa Soleguera house that gets you double force on points in any force on related event including Horizon Arcade and comes free with VIP. Okay then, so for the first chapter, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that first word production. I want you to own and drive the 2017 Vul 05RR, as I have just mentioned. This car can be purchased from the auto show or you can buy it from the auction house. I don't know whether it's cheaper or not. However, I've got a tune for you. As you can see, it is uh, near the top of S2 class and it is shared under my gamer tag Shiloh 2017. I made it for the last time we had this Forzathon, so it's uh, pretty much optimised for all the challenges. It's got plenty of power, plenty of grip and plenty of speed and it's absolutely lightning quick uh, and when you uh, put the throttle down a bit uh, I don't know why that keeps happening to me it keeps wanting to disconnect my controller and I don't really know why but we'll put up with it 
Chapter 2 is called Road and Racing and wants you to win any road racing event. So it can be a sprint or it can be a circuit, just go to any road racing event and make sure you win it. If you want to make it easier for yourself, you can always lower the difficulty all the way down to tourists or you can keep the difficulty as it is. Uh, feel free to use event labs. Um, I used them last week for the uh, four dirt scramble events. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. We haven't got a treasure hunt this week, so I wouldn't worry about it bugging up your treasure hunt. So if you want to do that, feel free, but obviously if it doesn't work you'll have to complete a regular race off the map. The third chapter is called Light and Fast and wants you to maintain a speed of 170 miles an hour or 273.6 kilometers an hour for 15 seconds uh, on the map. So the easiest way to do this of course is to head onto the highway, full send it along the highway um, and it shouldn't take you too long, obviously it's only 15 seconds um, and then it will pop up saying that the challenge is completed. Uh, very very easy challenge. And finally, to wrap up this weekly four stand challenge, like uh, we have chapter four, like a feather, which wants you to win three stars on any danger sign. So that isn't a total of three stars across danger signs. You have to get three stars on any danger sign. So go to one of the easier danger signs, one of the lower three star objectives, full send it in your view, and you should have no problem in completing it at all. That wraps up the weekly four stand challenge, so now we can move on to the daily four stand challenges. These pop up once a day, so one of them uh, comes up every day at 2.30pm GMT, and they last for seven days each, meaning that all uh, six of them, excluding the first one that's unlocked now, will ro roll over into the spring season. If you're like me, you might have to wait till a couple of them have unlocked and then complete them all at once, or you can just complete them day by day, uh, it doesn't really matter. I usually only complete them if I need some points and I can't be bothered doing any of the other challenges. Um, they're just an easy way of getting one point and uh, 10 or 24 some points um, if you need any help with, with these as they pop up throughout the week do not hesitate to contact me in the comment section or on Xbox or Discord uh, I've got the details in the description I think or somewhere um, so no problem with that uh, if they are bugged or if you don't know what they mean I'll be more than happy to help you out and finally, if you're wondering where you can spend all of these Forzland points that you've earned, we have the Horizon Forzland shop. This week we have a rather pricey Lamborghini Veneno for 800 Forzland points. And we also have the Aston Martin DB5, which I mentioned towards the start of the video, for 400. A Ho 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 car horn, which sounds like this. Ho 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 Ho! quite original there. Uh, a Santa outfit, a Santa hat and the usual wheel spin and super wheel spins. If I were you I'd probably buy the Lamborghini Veneno. It is 3 million credits at the auto show so if you're a bit short on credits but you've got loads of 4,000 points lying around as you can see I've got nearly 9,000. I would have over 10,000 um, but I have bought gifts for people uh, in the past few weeks. Speaking of gifts you can also purchase them as a gift. Uh, only five names will come up at first then you can either do this or if you back uh, if you click cancel and then do it again it will refresh them names some names might stay the same um, but it will refresh them so if you're looking for a specific person on your friends list and you've got loads of people friended um, you can do that way to find a specific person uh, although sometimes it d decides that it doesn't want to bring that person up um, and you just have to gift it to somebody random now we have ourselves the seasonal events including the trial, event lab, se seasonal PR stunts and seasonal championships. First up in this section is the trial sentimental feelings. Uh, 10 points towards the festival playlist and a Holden Monaro are the reward for this. Of course it is a co-op event as well meaning that you need Xbox Live Gold slash Game Pass and you also need to have unlocked the Hall of Fame. If you don't know how to do that I made a guide to uh, how, how to unlock the Hall of Fame so you can search for that on my channel or in the playlist section um, and uh, also it's a best of three so you'll be on a team with six people and then there'll be a team of six driver tires um, and you've, do, uh, you've got to overtake them to get more points and the aim is to get more points of the driver tires in total as a team uh, and it's a best of three so if either team wins the first two then the other team will uh, lose automatically. This week the restriction is B-Class Retro Saloons and it is on road racing. This week I have four suggestions for the trial. First up we have the 1995 BMW M5. Now this tune I don't actually know if it's shared and I don't know who made it um, because I got this car gifted to me in gift drop. Uh, it's pre-tuned to B-Class 
um, rear wheel drive off-road race tyres. It's actually a pretty decent tune, um, but when I searched for it, I couldn't find the uh, person that created it or the, it didn't it didn't look like it was shared. So I don't know whether the person's just made it and then put the car in gift drop. However, if you can find it, it is a very, very good tune. Then we have my tune for the 2005 BMW M3 with the Y body for stability. Moving along the line, we have the Mercedes-Benz 190e. Uh, this is the second newest version, I think, of the tune that Dobra created. So there is a slightly newer version after I gave him some feedback. So nearly 300 horsepower rear-wheel drive on that one. Uh, and then finally, we have my tune for the Volvo 850R front-wheel drive rally tyres. Uh, very, very grippy. Obviously suffers from a bit of understeer because it is front-wheel drive. But overall, pretty balanced uh, and a very safe bet for the trial. Next up we have an event lab feature and finally the developers have listened and they've actually picked a very decent event lab feature. Uh, I'm not at all suggesting that uh, any of the others have been crap, I mean a few of them have been. Um, there has been actually quite a few really good ones that I've liked um, from uh, different creators. We also had one from Twisted Knot of course who is a very very good event lab creator. But this time we have an event lab feature from Don Joe One Song. Now if you don't know who he is then you probably don't play the game uh, and you haven't got a clue about the Forza community because Don is an absolute legend in the Forza community and does a lot for the Forza community itself. Um, so this is Nosh de Neon, also known as Neon Knights, and uh, it is basically um, a, a really short race, like a sprint race, um, but really really complicated uh, and filled with loads of Neon Knights as suggested by the name. And he actually made it for a, a, like an, an, a, a challenge that he did a few months ago. Uh, and the developers have now featured it in here now that the challenge has been completed. Um, so it will get you three points towards the festival playlist and a song by some bloke called Porter Robinson. I have absolutely no idea who that is. Um, but that is a reward for that one. And the restriction is A Class Anything Goes. Now, having seen this uh, event on the video that he made, I do have a bit of an idea of what kind of car you'll need. Um, but in in general you just need any A-class car to be honest with you because that's what it says. Next up we have the seasonal PR stunts and as usual I'll be showing you the objectives, the cars I'll be using and then gameplay of me completing them. I do usually fail at least one of them so don't be surprised if that happens but I can assure you that they will be possible um, although last week's were a bit testing of my patience if I'm on this with you. They did take me about two hours in total so we'll see how things go this week. <laughs> First up we have the Sendero Speed Trap, two points in the super wheel spin and the reward and the restriction for this week is S2 class anything goes and that applies to both of the PR stunts. Uh, the developers seem to have been very inventive with the restrictions lately because for the past like two or three months we've just had S2 class anything goes PR stunts. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened to the variation in the festival playlist challenges but we'll go with it because uh, it means that it makes my life easier in suggesting cars because it's literally all always the same car. This speed trap is an off-road speed trap uh, and it comes off, uh, it kind of goes under the bridge of the motorway and then it's on the dirt section here. Um, there are two ways you can do this, you can either do it like a normal human being and use the dirt road to gain speed from both directions or you can be a sweat and you can come along the motorway, cut across here, try not to hit anything when you land and then go across. However, uh, depending on your tune, uh, the second option can, always, uh, can sometimes slow you down dramatically when you land so it isn't actually always all P. However the restriction for this one is 160 miles an hour which is 20 miles an hour more than my PB but don't worry because I did that in an A class Extreme E. As usual I've got a few of my standard S2 class cars that I use to complete any S2 class PR stunts. Now if you wanted to complete this like a normal human being using method 1 um, you'll be uh, easily be able to complete this in the Hoonigan RS200 that is always a reliable car for PR stunts however if you're wanting to complete it like an absolute weirdo then there are other options for you uh, including the uh, Rimac Concept 2 uh, and any other car like that doesn't really do off-road but then does do off-road. For example the Koenigsegg Yesco, uh, that's another one that uh, people seem to use for some reason, I'm not really too sure why. Okay then, attempt one using the human being method, let's see how it goes. Not sure how it will go but I guess we're about to find out. Oh, 
146 miles an hour. Um, so, as usual, it's going to take me uh, more and more attempts to complete this, and I'm uh, having a bit of a suspicion that this might be the better direction to go in. And as it turns out, my suspicion was right because 162 miles an hour uh, is a win. The second and final PR stunt of this week is the Punto de Vista Speed Zone, two points of the super wheel spin, S2 class, anything goes, and the, uh, ch uh, the objective for this one is 100 miles an hour. Uh, as you can see, it's probably easier to carry lo either carry loads of speed in and then slow around the corner, or come around and accelerate out of the corner. Two ways to do it, doesn't really matter which way you do it, because you'll still easily be able to complete it in the Hoon Hoonigan RS200, or again, if you're a bit of a, a sweaty you might want to do it in the, the Koenigsegg Yesco, the Mercedes AMG CLK GTR, the Rimac Concept 2 or any other weird non-off-road, off-road hypercar. Okay then, attempt one, let's see how this goes. I'm hoping it'll go uh, quite well because the Hunigan RS200 is rapido, however I am running a tune with only rally tyres so there's a bit of a good issue. Okay, and then uh, accelerate down here and hopefully Oh, you got to be kidding me. 99.87 miles an hour, so 0.13 miles an hour uh, still to get there, which is incredibly irritating. And you across the line, and that is uh, 2 out of 2 for the PR stunts, albeit none of them will go the first when it is safe to do so. To wrap up the seasonal event section, we have three seasonal championships, all of which can be completed in solo or co-op. If you're doing them in solo, you'll need to drive or fast travel to each of the three events that are marked out on the map at the start of the championship, and you need to complete all of them and win overall against the AI. Or if you're doing it co-op, it'll work the same way as the trial, and it'll fast travel you to each of the races, and you'll just need to beat the AI on a best of three basis. First up for the championships is all the trimmings, 5 points towards the festival playlist and Exocet off-road and the reward for this one and the restriction is A-class rally monsters on dirt racing. Only one suggestion for you for this one this week and it is the Opel Manta 400 from 1984. This is my tune uh, running 367 horsepower, very very light and also rally tyres so it's great for uh, kind of rally scrambles. Uh, it can even be used for cross country racing, playground games, very variable tune uh, and very uh, easy to drive so hopefully this will be able to help, for, help you complete the championship. The second championship for this week is called Candlelight Parade. It is road racing. We'll get you five points towards the festival playlist and a BMW Z4 from 2019. And the restriction for this one is C-Class Retro Sports Cars. Once again, only one suggestion for you this week uh, for this championship, and it is the 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX. Uh, this is an all-wheel drive tube running 220 horsepower. I've never really used it that much, however, I created it for Horizon Open many months ago. Um, it hopefully will be quite stable. Uh, it's pretty grippy. Uh, it's got a nice wide body and lower suspension, uh, upgraded brakes, and uh, a decent whack of horsepower for the straights. So hopefully it will be able to help you complete this championship. And the final championship for this week is called Oh Dear. It will get you 5 points towards the festival playlist and a VW Class 5 bug. It is cross country racing and the restriction is A Class Unlimited off road. You'll be pleased to hear that I have more than one suggestion for you to choose from uh, for this championship. First up is the 2022 Extreme E. Uh, you can pick any of the uh, Extreme E because they're all the same performance wise. I've tuned the number 99 Chip Ganassi Racing Extreme E which is the auto show one that can be bought for 700,000 credits. However you can pick any of the other ones with any of the different liveries, whichever your favourite livery is. And the uh, the same uh, the same um, uh, performance parts will apply, basically just uh, I think the first power upgrade and that's pretty much about it. Not really much else you can do if I'm honest. We also have the number 25 Ford Brocky Ultra Ford Bronco, obviously a level 10 car in Eliminator, um, but here it is running 850 horsepower. Then we have the same engine but slightly more horsepower in the Jeep Trail Cat from 2016. And finally, all the way at the end here is the RJ Anderson Polaris Rockstar Energy Truck. This one isn't my tune, so I'll leave the, ga I'll leave the game tag of the uh, dude that created it in the description. However, this one is also running the same engine with slightly more horsepower, and he's also got my lovely USA livery on it, if you're kind enough to download it. We now move on to the third of five sections in this festival playlist. This is the challenges section involving a photo challenge, the eliminator, and the collectibles. 
First up in this section is the photo challenge hashtag hide and seek, which wants you to photograph the snowman at the Buenas Vistas Playhouse in Cabo San Lucas. This will get you two points towards the festival playlist and a Merry Christmas car horn. I don't know whether that starts playing Merry Christmas or whether it says Merry Christmas, whether it's Santa saying Merry Christmas. I don't know what that horn is but it's a Merry Christmas haul. So for this one, all you need to do is head over to that playhouse in Cabo San Lucas and take a picture of the snowman. You don't need to take a picture of your car, you just need to zoom in on the house and find the snowman. Uh, and just to help you out, I'll show you exactly where that is now. For this one, I'd recommend filtering to player houses and then you need to head over to the southwest of the map uh, to find the Buenas Vistas house. Uh, this is kind of where it is, so it's pretty much directly to the west of uh, the main festival. Uh, you'll, if you're in an online session, there'll probably be loads of people here who are also doing the same challenge. Then all you need to do is head into free roll, open photo mode, and you'll see on the front of the house there, there is a massive snowman. And all you need to do is take a picture of him uh, as so. And once you've done that, the photo challenge will be completed and you'll have yourself your horn and your two or three points, whatever it is. Our next challenge is the Eliminator Battle Royale challenge. Never changed since the start of the game. Hint, hint, developers, I've mentioned this many times before, you need to be a bit more inventive. And it is the finish 30th or better. So when you enter the uh, game of the Eliminator, either by uh, the online tab in the pause menu or by uh, its location in the uh, top kind of right of the map, um, you'll see a player count in the top left of your screen. So it'll say uh, number X players left. Um, and you need to make sure that that count says 30 drivers left or lower and that is when you will have completed the challenge. At this point uh, you can either quit uh, and then hopefully the challenge will complete or if that doesn't work and it kind of you know messes up the challenge because you've quit um, find one of the uh, pink dots on the map, challenge them or let them challenge you then let them win, uh, they'll eliminate you and then you'll be able to uh, be legitimately eliminated and complete the challenge. Doing this will get you two points towards the festival playlist and a gingerbread outfit clothing reward. And the final challenge from the challenges section is the collectibles challenge Let It Snow which wants you to smash 20 snowmen at the top of the La Gran Caldera uh, mountain. This will get you 3 points towards the festival playlist and a snowman outfit clothing reward. For this one what you can do is you can either be in solo and then smash through one snowman, let it smash, rewind, let it respawn then smash through and do that 20 times. Or if you're in an online session you'll need to find 20 separate snowmen but you are running the risk of somebody else in your session already having smashed them and thus there will be not enough for you to complete it. So if I were you, I would make it easy for yourself by going in solo uh, and just smashing the same one 20 times. Next up we have the monthly rivals events. As suggested by the name, these are across the month, meaning that you can complete them in any of the four weeks. If you've already completed them, like me, you do not need to complete them again and you'll see that you'll start on the respective points uh, for each of the seasons, so two points. Um, these will get you four points each and that is towards the series and then that will be split, uh, divided by four uh, and split across the four seasons so you get one point added on each season for each of them. So in total that to eight points on the series and two points each week hence why I'm starting on two points for the spring season. Both of these monthly events, uh, the one in the limo and the one in the Cooper Urban Rebel, both require you to uh, post a clean lap on their respective circuits in their respective cars. To do this you just need to make sure that your lap doesn't have a, a flag slash exclamation mark next to it. If it does that means it's dirty or flagged uh, and you don't want that, you just want a clean time. Um, so you don't actually have to beat your rival, so if you want to you can just drive around really slowly, make sure you don't miss checkpoints, make sure you don't hit walls and make sure you don't use rewind and then hopefully your lap will be totally clean. Finally, to wrap up the winter slash dry season festival playlist, we have the Hot Wheels events. Obviously, these are only available to those who have purchased the Hot Wheels expansion. If you don't own the Hot Wheels expansion, you can buy it separately on the Microsoft Store or as part of the premium add-ons bundle. Uh, and if you do not own the Hot Wheels expansion and you're still going for the 100% achievement, as long as you complete all of the other challenges in the festival playlist apart from each week's Hot Wheels challenges, it will recognise that you do not own the Hot Wheels expansion, it will subtract them points and it will recognise that you uh, you have got 100% uh, based on what you are able to complete. However, if you do own the Hot Wheels expansion and you just choose not to complete them, you won't be able to get the 100% achievement because it knows that you have an opportunity to complete them events. Mm. 
This week's Hot Wheels PR stunt is the Horizon Nexus Speed Trap, two points of the Super Wheel Spin and S2 Class Anything Goes. For this one, I just used the same cars that I've suggested for the main map for, uh, PR, PR stunts, um, bar the Hoonigan Arrow Stunner because it is a speed trap, however, uh, it should still be able to do it anyway because the Hoonigan does do 250 miles an hour. For this one, I'd most recommend uh, like the Koenigsegg Yes Go or Hennessy Venom F5 if you've unlocked it, um, the um, Rimac Concept 2 any other uh, fast supercar or hypercar that's capable of 200 mile an hour or more should be able to complete this challenge very easily. The final event of this week is the Canyon and Armour Seasonal Championship which is on sprint events or speed events. This will get you 5 points towards the festival playlist and S um, a Porsche Cayman and the restriction for this one is S1 track toys. We actually had a track toys championship on the main map last week but because I didn't do the video I'll quickly run through um, the cars that I'm suggesting for it now. So we have the 2016 Dodge Viper ACR that is made by, uh, that tune's made by Dobra as well as Delivery so I'll leave his game target in the description. Very very good rear wheel drive purist tune. Then we have the Ford Shelby GT350, 350, 350T 350R, a bit of a mouthful there. Uh, that was one of my first ever tunes on Horizon 5, but it is still going strong. Then we also have the McLaren 620R and 765LT. Uh, one of them is Car Pass and one of them is a Festival Playlist exclusive. Um, and that is it. Uh, there are loads more uh, track toys uh, available that you can use, but they're just a small selection of the best ones for Hot Wheels. Okie dokie, that wraps up today's video guys, thank you so much for watching, I know it was a bit scrappy at the start, uh, explanations were a bit off, but as we move through that, the video I got back on the gist, uh, back to the usual standard, so hopefully I've explained things well enough for you, for you to be able to complete them. If you did enjoy this video, I'd very much appreciate it if you could hit the like button and possibly even uh, consider subscribing to the channel, we are on the road to 350 uh, slash 400 subscribers, so any support is greatly appreciated, um, feel free to get some conversations started in the comment section uh, and I'll continue to put out posts and polls uh, over the Christmas period. Uh, I do wish that you and your families have a great Christmas period and of course New Year, however I'll also reiterate that next week for the New Year message. Uh, so have a great time, don't spend too much time on Forza, make sure you spend some time with your families but of course make sure that you unlock the Cadillac limo and to get them gifts uh, sent so that we can unlock the Lamborghini Cyan. Have a great Christmas guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!